Welcome to Roddy's Rides. I'm your host, Roddy. This is my 2014 Mustang. And this is my M122 supercharger that I will be installing on a V6. Yes, you did hear me correctly. Today we're going to be unboxing the uh, Miranda's Racing Supercharger Adapter Kit for the 3.7 V6 Mustang. It allows this uh, M122 Supercharger to bolt on to the V6. I haven't looked at it yet, so let's get ahead and start unboxing. I have LS3 uh, injectors. Got a nice little injector, 50 pounds. Very exciting. Then we have a MAF sensor or MAF airflow sensor extension. Um, the other thing with this kit, they do include the extension, but you need to buy a throttle body uh, control module extension, whatever it's called. So I do need to order that part. But anyways, carrying on, let's we'll start off with the big pipe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nut. So this looks like, well I guess to tell you, it's the air pipe assembly seed duck. So this is my cold air intake because that's where the map sensor is. We got some mini miscellaneous hoses. Uh, oh, it literally says various hoses. Here are my aftermarket fuel rails that are spray painted Ford Racing Blue. We got the new belts for the supercharger of course. This is the belt tensioner. You know what? Oh, they are also based out of uh, Toronto, Canada, which is pretty cool. Huge shout out to Tom and Linda. They run the business up there. A little filter. This looks like where the duct assembly be. This is where the throttle body. So inside this kit, you can use the provided pipes for the stock throttle body, or you can also take the other route of using the GT500. So in the beginning, I'm not gonna be running the GT500 neck or throttle body just for this, just cause I wanna see what this kit can uh, perform with on just a, or what they provide, I should say. Oh my gosh, there's so many little bags over here. What is this? Spacer for bearings for supercharger belt. Supercharger pulley guide assembly. That just has in the name right there. Water inlet extension. Very nice. What else we got? Evap valve. Whoa. And it's like Christmas today. All right, and here's the part that everyone's been waiting for. If I can find a knife or something. Or a shank. It's not cutting keys. Wow, that works significantly better. If you don't know what the M122 supercharger came off of, you can buy them from 2011 and up GT500s, but since I have a 13, uh, I wanted to go with the newest M122 supercharger, so I ended up going with, I got this supercharger uh, used, of course, um, off of eBay. Oh, sick. So here are the adapter plates that adapt the M122 supercharger to the motor. So they have provided studs that go into the block. Oh, maybe and the supercharger. I don't know. That's a good question. Ah, no, these are the adapter plates. This is what I was looking for. Okay, sweet. This is also my daily driver. So I want to see how it performs, what gas mileage it gets. I'm hoping in the future I could potentially get a dyno, or not dyno tuned, but just dynoed and see what kind of horsepower we're looking at. And potentially compare it to a Pro Charger or Tidal Wave. So this should include everything that you will need to do this swap besides the um, throttle body extension wire, which I've already stated. So if you're interested in this build or want to see more videos or content on it, follow the channel. And tonight will be the last night that we will be starting up my 3.7 Mustang on a NA setup. And I know the V8 owners that are out there watching this that don't want me to expose them. 
I know you're out there. Subscribe, my damn battery's dead. <laughs>